It was an evening filled with people from different walks of life mingling and sharing ideas over the newest addition to the world of motivational literature, Happy Umwagara's Drums of Success. I'm a human resource strategist and a career coach, so I interact with a lot of people who have questions about their success and what they should do to achieve success. And I have realized most people do not even know that what it takes to achieve success is actually in themselves. They don't have to look outside to get it. Uh, I did research on psychometric tests. Uh, these are tests that we use in selection and development of human resources. They help us understand uh, the mental abilities and personality traits and motivation factors of people. And they predict performance and like these other tests that test cognitive knowledge. So when I did that test, I was like, hey, then why do we have people, especially in, in the part of the world where I am from, why do we have people who didn't achieve that you know, success, who don't perform in a creative way, who haven't achieved the results that we uh, are expected? And an idea came in my mind that was like, the problem is not the mental abilities or the, their personality, the problem is creativity. It continued to click in my mind, I was like, then what can people do? So then I decided to write this book, to talk to the individuals, not to the organizations, what they can do to discover their creative potential, translate it into creative ideas and objects, and turn it into success. The evening was complete with a song from her eldest daughter, a life painting by her brother, and even a recorded reading of an excerpt of the book before the author herself took to the stage to make her remarks. Um, thank you so much, MC, Mr. Sun. I was thinking about what I should be talking about. Drums of Success promises to provide 10 steps to turning your creative potential into success. But what makes this book different from other books of a similar genre? Something special about this book, contra I mean, in comparison to the books that we read that have been written by people from developed countries, all the anecdotes and life examples that I use in this book, they are not Bill Gates stories. All the, uh, these are the stories of our carpenter that we have in Yakindira, our tailor who can turn his tailing or her tail into fashion design. They speak, a, they, I use a language that can be understood by a young African, irrespective of whether you've been to school or you haven't been to school, you've been, up, uh, I mean, in the western country, uh, part of the world or not, I speak to Africans. Well, to all you book lovers out there and anyone looking for a new perspective, here's a book that just might be for you. Makeda Mahario, Rise and Shine Rwanda.